Hello and welcome to Tim and Amy's Homestead. Let's see what's going on in the day and life with Amy here on the homestead. Come on now, let's see. So I went out this morning between rain showers and picked a few things out of the garden and I just wanted to share it with you. Look at those squash. That's going to be some good eating tonight. I just have not been able to get enough to be able to can, which is kind of depressing, but at least we're eating fresh out of the garden, and that is just so important, so you don't have to worry about what is on your vegetables. But I'm going to tell you, I am so disappointed. Look at these tomatoes. They look so bad. I need to stick them. I just don't even know. Look at them split. They're getting waterlogged and they're splitting. This is one of my heirloom tomatoes. Oh, it's just so depressing, y'all. I was so looking forward. That's the prettiest tomato out of the whole bunch. I mean, look at them. Oh, they're terrible, y'all. I might can save something out of that one, but these are the gold ones, but they're all cracking. Every one of them. Look at that. That's the mess that's going on around here. But you know what? I have been able to grow bell peppers. They're not the biggest things in the world, but they're just fine for seasoning because Tim doesn't eat them and I do. But he, he doesn't mind the flavor in his food. But the one thing that has been growing the best, besides my watermelons, and I haven't picked any of those yet, and my corn, I picked two ears of corn this morning. Look at them. Two ears. They're beautiful. Look at them. And I have more coming. But look at my peppers. And I've run out of vinegar, so i got to go pick up some. Look at them. My cayenne peppers are kicking. And and all we do here in eastern North Carolina is just clean them. I cut the ends off and I throw them in the vinegar and let them do their work. I mean, look at them dirty things. Ah, oh, that one's finished. I'm not putting any more in that one. And I got one more I'm starting on right here in the middle. And like I said, I've run out of vinegar, so... Next time I go to the store, I'll fill it up. But that's the best thing that I have been growing. And it's still full of peppers out there. But I just wanted y'all to see this mess going on here. <laughs> I know I talk about the tomatoes about every time I get on here and talk about my garden. But anyway, that is my little bounty for the morning. And I just wanted to share it with you. Trying to raise your homegrown goodness is the best way to go if you can get it to grow. I hope and pray next year I have a better time and it's just so much better for you than going and get it from the grocery store, but you know, sometimes you just have to do that. I mean, I always try to go to um, farmer's markets and all that if you can first. Um, they just taste so much better when they're fresh grown than getting them out of the grocery store any day. So after I got through in the garden, I was a little hungry. And you know, I drank my caveman coffee about 7.30 this morning, I think it was. Between 7.30 and 8. And I can't get out and do much of nothing because of this weather. So I went out <clears throat> I went out in the garden and picked what I needed. I come in and I'm hungry. It's um almost eleven o'clock. So this is what I am having. I scrambled some eggs. I threw some butter in my cast iron frying pan. And I took me some eggs and some sour cream, some cheese, and two half pieces of bacon. So one piece of bacon. 
and crumbled it up and stirred it up and scrambled it. And uh, this is what I'm having right now because I'm hungry. And I don't like to be hungry. <laughs> Not one little bit. That's the way that ball bounces around here. There is no reason to be hungry when you're on keto. No reason at all. Well, it's Tuesday afternoon. Traffic is going by like crazy. Because it's almost 6 o'clock. And... The sun finally come out for a little bit, so I come out here and lit my grill because I bought some um, Denver steaks. They had them reduced at the store the other day, so I picked them up. The last time I had those, they were really tender. So I'm going to cook them on the grill and then throw some butter on them. Um, today I kind of ate a little bit more than I usually do so I'm feeling kind of guilty about that I had um, that little bit of leftover meat from the stuffed peppers and I had a little bit of that um, cauliflower mac and cheese and I ate that for lunch and I wish I had never done that I don't ever eat like that at lunch but I was hungry today Go figure, but I guess we all have our moments with that stuff. Anyhow, so I'm cooking steak tonight, and I'm going to cook some um, zucchini and squash and onions together, and Tim really likes that, and I had a little bit left in my refrigerator that I had bought from the grocery store. Me, on the other hand, since I didn't obey myself like I usually do at lunch, um, I'm having my salad for dinner tonight. And I'm going to cut some steak up and put on top of it. I just get to where I don't feel right if I don't eat my salad at lunchtime anymore. Ruins my whole day. Ah. And I also, I made some no-crust cheesecake today and put them in some little cups. So that's going to be our little dessert tonight. So Tim doesn't know about that yet. I haven't told him about that. I have some um, uh, semi-sweet chocolate. I had bought the Baker's Bars from the Dollar Tree, which I can't have them. But I'm going to melt some of that and make a little ganache and pour on top of his so he'll think he's got a big treat. Uh, haven't really done much today. It's just been rainy here all day. This is the first time the sun has been out today. I actually took the cat nap about 4 o'clock and I woke up a little after five, opened the door and it was raining. I texted him and told him that uh, I won't, might not be able to cook till you get home. But luckily, it wasn't long after I texted him, the sun popped out. So I hurried up to get out here and light it and get it going. <sighs> but from having that lunch that I had, his really drug me down. If I have my salad during the day, I have more energy. Can't do that anymore. Here we go again. It is thundering. Ah, oh, we're about to get another storm. I mean, it's all around us. I am so sick of this rain this week. Look at that. We about to get it. Oh golly, it is lightning now, and the storms are about to hit. Mistakes are done, Tim's squash is done, I'm going to fix me a salad, and it is time to chow down and 
get to rest the rest of the evening. I hope y'all had a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Please subscribe if you hadn't. Mash the bell. Hit the like button and all that good stuff you know you all do. And we'll see you later.